morning, everybody. My name's Evan Salve, Team Bastic, and this morning we're getting ready to ride out to beautiful San Clemente Island in search of big calico bass that call that island home. The fishing's been really good out there lately with a lot of fishing, the swim bait, hard bait, and a lot more. So we have high hopes. The weather's absolutely beautiful. They're calling for five knots or less in the outer waters. That is just unheard of. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of those windows that you have to take advantage of when it comes up. Today I'm joined by Greg and Matt behind the camera there. What's up, guys? Greg's personal best calico bass is just a little guy, three pounder. So I told him I think that uh, we're going to break that very early today. So we're going to be bringing you live action from San Clemente Island. And like I said, if the stars align like they sometimes do, we can have an excellent day out there. Stay tuned. Slayer head, you can see it just matches up perfectly. We're just going to be burning that through the kelp and having a lot of fun here. So let's get started. Let's put some fish in the board. See you soon. Starting out the day strong. First spot. Way to go, Matt. Hey, nice one. Yeah. We just got into a flurry. We actually had oh, three wow. fish come in, but uh, we had to race the other ones. When did you get that one? On the six and a half inch red rum red there. Rum. Let's let him go. Beautiful fish. What do you got to say about that? Oh yeah. There he is. Another <laughs> nice one. <laughs> On the inside. Let him go, baby. Epic fishing right now. So how are you fishing this stuff, Greg? Straight wine on the top, right over the foam. Foam's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> a lot of fish. Yeah, a lot of fish associate with the foam, uh, not necessarily because it's foam, but because foam usually means that there's good shore push. Also, as you can see, it creates kind of a, a cover for the fish, and that's a, another theory that I have. But uh, a lot of guys really emphasize foam when they're fishing the inside. You know, guys like Justin Reynolds, you know, they always told me when I fish with them, look for the foam, foam, and. Uh, and you know, it's something that I've adapted to and it's paid off for us. So, all right guys, we're gonna keep working the stretch. Going all the way down. 
and hopefully catch fish the whole way. We've probably got about 20 pounds. Oh, you miss uh, them? Uh, nope. Yep. Uh, nope. Yep. So Good all old the bigger fish style. we caught this Good morning have come off the beaches in here. How we're fishing it? We're fishing these uh, six and a half inch red rums, you know, just on, on moorheads. We're throwing them right in there, right in the wash, but we're not really starting to wind right away. We're letting them settle out. And as you let them settle out, you know, that bait's going to kind of get pushed around in there. You can see its tail moving. And it looks like a struggling bait fish, a struggling crab of some sort that's being washed around in there. Once we feel like it's kind of settled out, I'm going to begin kind of a medium retrieve. Not a real slow retrieve, not necessarily a real fast retrieve, just kind of a, a medium retrieve. And that's going to bring the bait out of that wash zone, out of that kill zone, at a steady pace. And a lot of these fish, which are staging right on the edge of the rocks, kind of on drop-offs, right at the base of some of that inside kelp, they'll see it coming out of there and mimics a wounded prey of some sort. And they'll come out and they'll chomp it. So I'll show you one more cast here, kind of how I do that in action. And I'm just snag it on some kelp, just pull right through, fix my tail. See, this is a really good looking combo. It's just this red warhead on this, uh, on this red rum here. So I'll take a long cast way into the inside, drop it within a couple feet, and I'm letting it settle out right here. You can see, I can feel the push, pushing it in. Now I'm starting that medium retrieve. Every couple times, I'm just gonna put it out of gear and let it settle back in. And it's often, you know, a very repetitive process. When you're out here in the kelp, a lot of times, the fishing can just be wide open. Bam, 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 bam. When you're fishing that inside stuff, a lot of times uh, it's, it's going to be more of a pick bite, but the grade of fish you get out there is going to generally be a little bit bigger. You know, we've caught fish upwards of eight pounds fishing this inside stuff, and, and it's just a lot, a lot of fun. So that's your information piece for today. Thanks for tuning into this episode. It's really a lot of fun to be out here. It's been a good morning. We already have 20 plus pounds, and we've been here for, you know, under an hour. We got a whole day. So. Come to make things right You and I must fight for our rights You and I must fight to survive No one's gonna take me alive The time has come to make things Just tossed my one ounce war bait with a red rum plastics straight up in that thick stuff on the inside, and yeah, got owned, but that was fun. That's our third five pounder of the day oh, so yeah. far. Good little flurries here. Woo. 
mad. That's a nice one. A little smaller than the average size. <laughs> Classic to go. What do you say, Matt? It's fun. Good day so far, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we've been out here for a couple hours. We probably have somewhere in the range of 30 fish. Not extremely wide open, but a good grade. Uh, most of the fish we've caught so far have been uh, really in that, that uh, kind of two to four pound range with a couple fives mixed in. So we're really happy with what we're doing size-wise. We're on the back side of the island. We're moving our way towards the west side. Uh, we're gonna check out a couple of our spots that we have done well in during the past over there. And uh, the condition's just kind of starting to get a little better and we're seeing a lot of small fish in this kelp and nothing of any size. So, check in with you later. Another little one. What colors are working today for you? Uh, the red rum, I got bit on a lot. Um, I'm just trying the Christmas tree right now. Get the sparkle out in the sun, so see how that goes. Awesome. That's on again. <laughs> That's a nice one. There you go. That's three fish on three casts, Matt. That's why we come to San Clemente Island. You don't see that locally. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Your back's hurting. <laughs> nice release. about fishing out here is the fact that you can really fish some big baits and do really well. Not that you can't do it on the coast, but there's so many fish to choose from. This nice little spunky two-pounder ate a nine-inch sledgehammer from Big Hammer. So that's pretty cool. It's great to see. I take a cast into some of those laid-down lanes and we started to kind of pull away and I was coming tight on it and donk! And that's the result. We'll let him go. Really nice orange colors. These fish are probably getting ready to spawn. Pulled in to uh kind of the runway area of the oh, island, west end. He just caught a fish, I just caught a fish. Behind his fish was one that was like in the eight pound range. So I threw mine back real quickly, but they dissipated. Fishing's kind of good. We got a little window back here, some great current. So we're just going in, taking a cast down a lane. As soon as it hits the water, put it in gear and start winding. These fish are really high up in the column. I mean, we're, we're burning them pretty hard here. You'll feel it on the kelp, and just when you feel the kelp, just keep kind of winding on it. It will usually fall off the kelp pretty easily. I'll take one more here. Let's choose a nice window. Really look for, for the lanes here. And hold your tip high so you'll kind of roll that war bait over the top. It's not going to get snagged as much. Get into the open. Steady, steady retrieve here. Maybe take it out of gear real quick. There he is. Oh, oh, oh and he came off. Right. Oh, there oh, he is. Lower. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, you my guys God. don't even know what's going on here. We got some big, big fish. Oh, my God. Like Please don't lose this one. Please don't lose this one. <laughs> no. Oh, he came off, but there's like five big ones on him. Just because you said that. Oh, right. shoot. Ready. Let's go. go. Let's try that one oh. more time. Let's hang in here. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, my God. Gosh. Well, we're gonna let Greg get on the action. That's what we got in store for today, too, and we'll, we'll bring it to you when we get one. That was like a five pounder. This is probably our 10th double of the day, at least. I mean, the fishing's been really good. He was fishing the waxing. What happened? What'd you do? Well, about three or four fish came out of water for it, hooked one, and then we got a follower. Got a that follower. That was bigger. <laughs> so that's, a, that's kind of our average grade today, you know, quality two and a half pound chunker. So we'll let him go. It's just. This condition is just, I'm telling you, it's perfect. And you, you can say that a lot, but when you're looking at it, we got a little bit of sun peeking out. Oh, there's another and one, there's on, another the one on the wax And there's another one on the wax wing. On the winged creature. Oh, nice one. It's a nice one. Oh, hey, welcome to followers, right? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Hang on. Hold on, hold on. Hang on, keep him still. I'm all wrapped up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We'll try for a follower, but he got a nice one there. Yeah. 
There you have it. Fishing at San Clemente Island. That's Second. three fish in a matter of seconds there. It's fun fishing. That waxing's really effective. You know, we've been throwing a surface iron today as well. A lot of bumps on it. You break that thing out, you're starting to stick a lot more of these fish, which is really nice. So we got a smaller one just to try to get those followers. Perfect. It's fun. That right there Ooh. is why we come to San Clemente Island. It's a nice six pounder. Just absolutely ripped the bait three feet from the boat. We're seeing them all around. We got waxing fish. I mean, we're out here, west end of the island. The condition is so great. We got kelp laid down so hard that you can't even see it. We Matt just got one on the wax wing in. Look at that beautiful, beautiful calca bass. We're gonna let her go here. Oh, there he is on the jig. Bigger's the only non-legal fish of the day. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at the followers on him. You guys, let's take another cast. I think I can get two in a row. Another one on the jig? Yeah. Second fish, small one, but still a nice fish. What kind of jig is that? It's a Taddy 45, yellow and brown. Nice, good job. What are you fishing for your rig there? You got a Trinidad with the Terramar, right? Yeah, Trinidad 16 narrow with a nice Terramar jig stick. Works great. It's perfect. A lot lighter than most of the setups you're going to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hook out of here. Well, we'll get that hook out and get him back in the water. Okay. Nice little guy. See you. See you when you get older. Matt's on a real nice when he got him in the kelp. Oh, my God. Oh, there he is. Oh! Look at that one. Watch out. Now there is a nice fish. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, boy. That's Damn. a good thing to get out of the kelp right there. Oh, yeah. It's a really nice six and a half pound fish. It's a big one. <laughs> what a beauty. That is what we came here for. You know, right now we're looking at a bag in excess of 30 pounds for five fish. And uh, really just stellar, stellar fishing. We gotta leave soon, but great. this condition is just excellent. It's a great, great way to end the day. Wow. Alrighty. Let's get some pictures and let All her right. go. So we fished the front side here to kind of finish our day. We're fishing it now. I just got this beautiful, beautiful bass on the wax wing. The sardine colored wax wing right up on the beach. It was a lot of fun. We saw him come up and eat it. Look at that beautiful color. It's a good way to kind of finish our day with a couple drifts in here. And it really shows how effective the wax wing is. A lot of people don't really understand it. They don't really understand how to fish it, what the concept is, but I'll talk a little bit about it right now. The wax wing was designed to be fished for inshore species, offshore species, anything that eats fish, any predatory species. You know, it was kind of our version of the butterfly jig, the Lucanus jig for the inshore bass guy and for the inshore angler. It's really very applicable. We're fishing beaches, we've got clear water, these fish are actively hunting, actively feeding. And when they see this thing come over, it's not only a reaction bait, it's a hunger strike. What the bait does, we got two wings, one on the top, one on the bottom. One acts as a stabilizer, the other one kind of acts as a wing and gives it some kick, which is really nice. The way we fish them is, uh, I'm just gonna take a cast with my setup here. This is a wax wing setup. I've got a Trinidad 10A on a Therese waxing rod MH 50 pound power pro. I'll just take a cast. It doesn't have to be a particularly long cast, but you want it to be accurate down wherever you want. I'm just gonna start a slow kind of retrieve, kind of a medium retrieve. And every few cranks, I'm gonna just give it a hard kind of crank down and then stop it. And what that's gonna do is kind of make that bait catch an edge and come right off and, and slide out a little. A lot of times that's kind of a trigger. The fish will see that and just come out and smash it. When you do get bit, do not swing like you would maybe with a plastic. Just keep winding like you would with a surface iron because what's going to happen is you're going to pull the hook away. So our day is coming to a close out here at San Clemente Island. The weather was beautiful. The fishing was incredible. We had over 60 quality bass with fish up to six pounds, a lot of three and four pounders, and that standard fare of two to threes. So it was a lot of fun. They ate everything we threw at them, from the surface iron to the old standard boar hammer combos, and then into the wax wing, which is a real treat, especially to get some bigger models. 
We're gonna head over to Avalon, we're gonna put a little bit more fuel in the tank, and then we're gonna go down to South Shores and conclude what once again can only be described as an excellent day of sport fishing. Thanks for tuning in guys. Evan Salve, Team Bastic. I will see you on the water.